I feel a bit like, uh, like the cow who walks in the field and you've got the herd of cows in the field there and they're munching away and their reality is that every now and again the big truck comes and it takes a few of them away and wherever they think they go, I don't know, another field, on holiday, whatever. And then this other cow comes into the field and says, hey, hey, you, you got to listen or you, you won't believe what I've just found out. You, you know when they put them, oh, those cows and some of us in that, in that truck and they take us away every, every now and again? Um, they're not taking us to another field or on vacation. Uh, what they do is they take you down to this, this big building and they slit their throats and they bleed them dry and then they cut them up and they hang them on hooks and then they put them in little packages and, and put it in the supermarket and then them humans come along and buy us and eat us? What would be the reaction of the rest of the herd on hearing this information? You're crazy, man. You're out of your brain. You want to go and see a psychiatrist? They'd never do that. This is ridiculous. And anyway, I've got shares in that trucking company and I get, get a good return. Shut up, you're making waves. And yet, all the things that I have just said are absolutely true. It's just that the herd will not believe them. And the herd mentality uh, can be summed up by what we see all the time um, in a herd or a flock, whatever you want to call it, of sheep. If you look at how uh, sheep are controlled all over the planet every day, it's through this. It's because sheep are put in that symbolic eggshell so that they don't think for themselves, they just follow the one in front. So, most of the sheep every day, and I've seen it, remarkable sight it is, where the farmer arrives with the sheepdog, and there's this whole kind of group of sheep, hundreds of them in the example that I saw once in England, and they're all munching away and no problem. And then, suddenly, when the farmer arrives, one or two of them start to walk. Just one or two. Ba, 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 ba. And it's like flipping Exodus. Hundreds of them just follow the one in front without thinking. No? Well, do I want to follow the one in front? You know, what do I feel today? Maybe I want to go over there. No, no, ba, 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 ba. And then you've got the tiny few who don't immediately succumb to that and follow that and concede their uniqueness to that and they're given the extra dose of fear by the sheepdog wrote, 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 oh, all right then and that four-letter word fear is what controls the world and it's coming back as we come to a close here to the same thing again and again the way to freedom and that is to step out of the fear what other people think of us and just do it, just do it, just do it. People say to me um, sometimes, um, um, how do I get over the fear of what people think? How do I get over the fear of what people think of me? What I would suggest is let the fear be the trigger to overcome it. So if you're in a situation where you're thinking, oh, well, I'd love to say this, but what will they think? Just say it. Just say it. If the people around you cannot um, respect your right to be you, then what are you worried about? What they think of you for? And if you're in a situation where I'd love to do this, this is what I like to do, but what will they think? Just do it, just do it, just do it. And when you get into that just do it mode, just do it mode, just do it mode, some very interesting things start to happen. First of all, you're following your intuition, your heart, your connection with out there, and you're letting that be your guide. Just do it, do it intuitively. And after a while, and I've seen this in my own life, although the head is screaming, oh my God, what are you doing? Eventually, you start to realize that when you follow your intuition, although it might set up great challenges to start with, and you think, oh my goodness, what have I done? Eventually, you see that everything was exactly what was necessary to bring about a positive outcome. And after a while of doing this, of just doing it, just doing it, just doing it, your mind, your head, starts to look at this and it realizes that every time you follow your intuition, although it's a challenge, eventually everything works out tremendously well. And what happens then is the head and the heart 
come into sync and what you think and what you feel become the same thing. And that's when we start to connect with who we really are and the true nature of our power to manifest our own destiny.